of Jess Too Good here, and today we're taking a look at the LEGO Ninjago J Avatar Arcade Pod. This has 47 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $10 in the United States. LEGO sent me this for free. Thank you, LEGO, but all opinions in this video are my own. For Avatar J, just like the other two avatars, this is exclusive to the set with new torso, leg, and face printing, and also a new exclusive color for an existing hairpiece. This is my favorite of the three because not only do I love this rock star persona he takes, which almost reminds me of David Bowie, but the hairpiece in white is probably the most useful part here. I think that can be splashable in a lot of other settings compared to the other two. And he's also the only one of the three to have an alternate face. Yeah, they don't give an alternate face for the other two. I mean, I guess for Lloyd it's understandable, but for Kai, I'm not sure why. But this one, he has this nice screaming or singing face, which just looks kind of dope. Other than that, he does have a pretty uncommon color for the guitar piece, which I believe did appear in a couple of LEGO Friends sets with that color. But again, in LEGO Friends, so not a lot of people might have gotten it. As for Digit J, this is actually one of the most common ninja in this sub-theme, this season sets, because he does appear actually on all the boxes. So I guess he plays a prominent role in the story in that sense. This design does have the health bar piece at the back, and he uses the new controller piece in gold, which is something all these arcade sets share in common. With all that garb removed, here's a better look at the face print underneath, as well as the back of his torso. And you can see his alternate face, which also looks good with the new mask piece on. The build of this pod is very identical to those other two. If you haven't seen my reviews of those, well, this piece at the back is a new piece. There's an arcade frame piece, which has some more pieces attached to it. Everything you see here is a sticker. So there's a sticker here, sticker here, sticker here. I'm glad those are stickers because that arcade frame piece is new and very useful. Also, this 2x4 here is a sticker. That's the separate tile. At the top, there's a 6x4 area of studs, except this little cutout section here. And you attach all these separate pieces at the top. And you can open up this new piece, which I call the clamshell piece, just like this. And on the inside, we have some accessories to build Avatar J. And they are just clipped on with the 1x1s. And then there's a little pedestal to have Digit J just standing up where the rest of Avatar J's body is all the way at the front. I do wish with these sets it was a little bit easier to access these parts, but it's not a big deal. You can kind of maneuver it a bit, get remove this piece, and then start clawing at those pieces. And it doesn't take too hard to get them out, but it's still a bit annoying. Either way though, that is it for the build. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box for this set is shaped like an arcade machine and there's some interesting artwork at the sides as well. And as with a lot of the other LEGO Ninjago sets of this wave, the sticker sheet includes some extra stickers. The paper material includes this poster here as well as some detailing at the back and also this fold out instructions, which again, just kind of perplexes me how much detail they put into here. Not a bad thing, but they have like different artwork and. Digit J is like leading you through the build. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool, but still, I wonder if they're going to apply this to future instructions. One thing that annoys me that I encounter with this particular one, and it's the same with the other ones, I just noticed it now, is that there's no part code. So you can't really search up the parts or anything like that. That is something they should probably include in the future. You guys know I love all the arcade pods, and just by a little bit, this is my favorite for that Avatar J. It just seems like the one that they put the most effort into and the one with the coolest design all around and with the most useful hair piece. That's just my two cents on that figure because everything else here comparatively is basically on par with the other two. These are fantastic sets and try not to skip out on them, especially for $10. I'd rate this one an A. I don't have too much else to add. But what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.